Alright guys, I'm back with a brand new life story. Today we're going to be talking about the time I ran from the security guards, right? So, this was way back when. I think I was in 8th grade. Um, we had a field trip, right? It was like right at the end of the year. It was like our big our big trip or whatever for for. I don't know, being a student, like graduating from middle school or something like that. And we went to Carowinds, right? And it was a blast. I've never been to a theme park with a group before, but I recommend you do it. It makes it 10,000 times better. So let me tell you how it all started. So we, you know, we, I was in a group, let's say there's about five people. I believe, yeah, actually, you know, I think it was exactly five people. Um, so we were in a group, right? Five people. And we were just walking around the park, you know, going on the rides that we wanted to go to. And if you don't know, Carowinds is a, is a theme park. You can look it up. It's pretty cool. North Carolina, South Carolina border type deal. And we're going around and there was this one place. It was a Scooby-Doo place. And it was like a haunted mansion. You just kind of rode this little thing through it. So we're in there and we're, we're cutting up. We're yelling, you know. <laughs> It's just, it, we're in the dark, you know, when we're yelling and stuff, and, and people are just, I, I, whenever we get off, I see someone, like, going up and talk to the guy, and they were pointing at us, like, like, oh, man, that was such an awful experience. These hooligans over here ruined it for my family. I saw that, I was like, okay, guys, we gotta go. We gotta go. So we kind of upstepped it. We stepped the pace up. We got away from that, right? Nothing big happened there. And then we went to this one ride. It was so awkward. And, I know it was five people because it was like a, a, a three-seater and then, no, 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 it was a two-seater and then we were just like, oh, we can wedge the rest of the, like the other three of us into the seat. We can ride three and they're like, uh, n no, you got, you got to ride with a random, right? So they're happy, right? They're, they're all happy. They're just, ha ha, Aaron, we're going to ride together and you got to ride with some random person. Guess what, guys? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Guess who my random person was? I guess not who, but it was like literally, it was it was a gorgeous blonde. And they're just like, I'm sitting behind them and, and they're like turning around just staring at me, like shaking their head. And I'm just smiling. I'm like, yeah, boys. And so we ride that and, and nothing big happens. But I feel like whenever we got off, I, I was still kind of paranoid. And I saw like the people, like the, the security people and the person running the ride kind of like looking at us and I'm like okay well we got on these bright yellow t-shirts so they can definitely see us because we all had to match as a class I'm like we really have to go we have to sprint we got off the ride right awesome ride I mean <laughs> especially with the cute blonde next to me but we got off the ride right we we started running we started going and we were like okay we're gonna go all the way into the water section of the park they're not gonna look for us there so we get to this one part right and it's like a bridge that is over, I guess it's like a log slide type deal. And whenever the, the, the logs or whatever the ride is hits the bottom of the water, like this down of a ramp, a huge wave comes out and, and gets you wet on the bridge, right? Get, gets water all over you. So we're just standing there. We're enjoying that. It's a hot day. And then for some reason, we're like, we're just going to climb to the top of this bridge, right? There's like a little roof over us. Like that. It was slotted, you know, so water could come in through it. And we'd sit up there and the water would hit us and kind of knock us back. We were kind of getting uneasy. And then we looked down and there are two guards from both sides kind of like pushing in, like trying to come and get us. Like, because we've been causing mayhem over this park, this entire park, right? And we're like, oh man, got a bolt. I zipped down through the like little holes in the roof, kind of ran away, kind of made it not as obvious as what it was. And I just looked back, two of the, my five boys, they were caught. <laughs> like they were being held by the security people. I started running. I'm looking around for the rest of them. I see them split up. I'm like, okay, I got to go make contact with one of them. One of them met. I was like, okay, they, they got us. They know who we are. They know where we are. We got to lay low. We had about another hour and a half until we left. So we literally just went to like some gift shops and like some food places and just kind of chilled out and kept our eyes open. Turns out me and this other guy, we were the only two that did not get like caught up in the mess with, with the security guards chasing us, you know, and, and we made it, we made it all the way out. And you know what, on the bus ride back, 
It was horrible. Uh, okay, someone someone got one of the balls, right, that you, like, squeeze and has a net and it's, like, pops up green. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I pretend like you do for the story, of course. And we were riding on the way back and, and, and this kid, right, he just... Okay, not just a kid. Me and the other guy that made it, he, he took the ball and, like, threw it out of the bus window, right? Hit the road and went splash everywhere. Teacher stood up, called him. At the end of the day, I was the only one that made it away scot-free. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Peace. Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you would like to be a part of the club.